But with this, um, let's remember that every day is a step, as an incremental step to empower ourselves, to better yeah. ourselves for the betterment of society. And to spread that good news, we need that mm -hmm. digital intelligence. And our next speaker is wonderful. Eugene is a marvelous ambassador for, for the empowerment to reach out through the internet. So Eugene, may we give you the floor right now. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Catherine. It's really been very inspiring, the work that you do, right? Um, I'm, I'm really in inspired by your sharing, by you touching a lot of lives and especially for you uh, reaching out to especially people that are terminally ill to write the book to document their life and it's really very meaningful i think i think that's what we are being called to do as fellow roman catholics to really go and reach out to those people that are you know in need right um i i used to be serving in the uh, Roman Catholic Archdiocese, uh, Archbishop's office for three years. Oh. And we, I, I actually helped uh, to train all the parishes, their volunteers, to make sure that they are digitally ready mm. uh, to, in a form of evangelization. And we have the IT team to make sure that they can go live streaming. This was years ago. And it has proven that during COVID-19, this has proven to be our efforts has really paid off. If not for that, uh, we cannot do digital streaming of masses, yes. right? So, uh, yeah, I was I was there for three years, uh, formally, uh, in the initial formative years. And um, it is very important uh, to reach out. In fact, during that time, I was the web, webmaster, right? <laughs> and and uh, of, of Catholic Dorothy. And uh, we, we always have this mission that it has to be 100% or 99% uptight. Because my boss used to say, you know, what if, uh, what if someone is, is uh, like, you know, wanting to suicide and then they, they, they want to read something and then the website goes down. Yeah. Like, you, you are like, like, like the final reach, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that was very important. And I, I really would like to really affirm you for your work. Thank you. I mean, I personally have been touched. And yes, uh, digital marketing is important in this day and age, especially uh, in this COVID times where it's always very challenging, right? Uh, and how do we actually uh, do the right way of digital marketing? So I'm, I'm given a challenge today to actually uh, distill. I'm actually given a challenge today to actually distill what I would normally do in a two days course in one hour or 45 minutes, right? So I hope I can meet the expectations. I'll try not to do a uh, screen share and demo that much, but uh, most definitely, if you guys need any uh, demo, do let me know at the end of this uh, talk. And then um, I will make that available uh, as a separate video. I will record those videos especially for you. All right. So this is just a teaser, just a teaser, just a taster of what SEO is, what digital marketing is. So I'll, I'll, I'll provide to uh, share my slide. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, today's today's topic is uh, as what I say, understanding the role of uh, search engine optimization, which is SEO, in digital marketing. Okay. So before we before we start the talk, just take a snapshot because this is where you can find the whole slides. So you don't have to copy anything when I talk or snapshot or you know get nervous. When you when you can't copy the slide, so I'll I'll, I'll stop for a couple of moments, uh, maybe thirty seconds for you guys to just take this snapshot so that you can get the slides later. All right, will it be fine? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I'm uh, Eugene, the SEO King. 
Uh, I'm a former digital uh, director of digital marketing in uh, retail banking at Standard Chartered Bank. So we were, you know, I was rolling out the Christmas 2018 campaign and the bonus saver relaunch. I'm an uh, independent uh, internet marketing coach and mentor with over 15 years of website and digital marketing experience, right? I'm also a certified SEO practitioner and I have a deep passion for what I do and I've also founded the group Internet Marketing Secrets which over the years have about a thousand members, right? And uh, I've been affectionately known as SEO Queen for the work that I do, right? So today, uh, my digital name card to you since we are all meeting digitally, my digital name card to you is imseoping.com and that is my YouTube channel with over 60 videos specially for you. So do, do help me subscribe because I'm still trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So understanding the role of SEO in a digital marketing strategy, first we look at how can we do a digital marketing well? What are the components of a digital marketing strategy? The evolution of search and the rise of Google. Is Google page one easy to achieve? What is the search engine result page and uh, possibly a live demo? Um, SEO deconstructed, what are the ranking ingredients that Google look for, right? And also, are you barking up the wrong SEO tree? Uh, we look at what are the practices to do before SEO and when you're doing SEO. And next, most importantly, the juice of it all, getting into the mind of Google. How can we think like Google? What are the research steps? How can we you know, identify the customer? When we are designing the website, our website, what are the things that we look for? And uh, next, we look at emerging trends and technology. And also, lastly, a parting note from it, right? So digital marketing is often misunderstood because a lot of people say that I don't need a website. Then what do you rely on? Flyers. And as you can see, the guy there, he's just throwing the flyers in the bin, right? Social media is for young kids. Are you sure social media is for young kids? A lot of people say that is because they do not know the right way to target ads. And ads don't work, social media is for young kids. Google my what? Is your business listed in the free tool that Google gives you? And that is called Google My Business. Anybody can list your business name in Google My Business free, right? Uh, and what happens is when you list, Google will give you a postcard and uh, you, the postcard will have a code and you verify and that listing remains with you forever after verification. YouTube is for watching movies. Yes, to a certain extent, your Korean dramas and all that are there. But um, are you using YouTube for business? Because if you are not, Guess what? YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world after Google.com themselves. So you are missing a big part of the pie that your competitors are if your competitors are on YouTube, right? So how can we do digital marketing well? Well, firstly, we have to understand this concept of an internet footprint. An internet footprint. Digital marketing is a process of building an internet footprint for your business so that people on the internet can find your business. An internet footprint is like an online street sign. For example, if Anne-Marie uh, invite me to her office, she will at least tell me what is the road name and I will use uh, Street Directory or Google Map to get myself get to her office. Similarly, are you leaving digital uh, breadcrumbs in the, in the example of Hansel and Gretel, they are afraid that they are lost. They left breadcrumbs so that they can make their way home. So the question to ask and to hold the thought is, are you leaving digital breadcrumbs so that people can find your business and so that you can make your business internet famous? That's the whole idea. Next, we look at components of a digital marketing strategy and I intentionally uh, put this map together to just to let you know that SEO is only one small portion of a digital marketing strategy. So you have Google My Business. Google My Business, when you have a listing in Google My Business, it ensures that your business is searchable. What Google do is, Google My Business, there's a listing in the, in, in the uh, your website. You will put 
your website in Google My Business. And because Google My Business has a verified location, Google can then make that, that mapping to say that your website is actually located in this address and you are a Singapore business, for example. Your website, you look at the themes, you look at the navigation, you also look at user experience. Today, SEO is not about keywords only. It's about how fast your website loads, how is your website mobile responsive, and does your website have the SSL secure, okay? Don't worry if it's all technical, you can ask me later. YouTube, right, it's not only about videos, it's the second largest search engine in the world, and if you're not there, you're missing the fight. Social media marketing, right, social media marketing is not only just posting and posting, it is about knowing who your customer is and generating the right post to them. Then next we have ads. Ads, we look at pay-per-click ads, which is Google ads. We have Google, uh, we have Facebook ads, we have Instagram ads, we have LinkedIn ads. Next, we look at lead generation funnel. For example, your business is in a kitchen cabinet. So recently we have a project on kitchen cabinet uh, company. And what they are trying to do is they're trying to run some ads to let people know, uh, for example, to target those newlyweds that are looking for houses and things like that. Uh, they, need, they put in their name, email address, they get a free 3D modeling of their kitchen, for example. So that is an example of lead uh, generation and funnel. Normally, you will leave something free in exchange for name and email address so that you can continue the customer journey with them. SEO talks about what you do on your website and what you do outside your website, right? Next, we look at content marketing. Content marketing is usually talking about copywriting. How do you write for your audience? Email marketing talks about how do you outreach your audience to email. Remarketing talks about are you doing something when people are visiting your website? and then you can target them with an ad. Because people who visit your website are considered warm audience. They already know your business name, at least. And then you target them with your offer. For example, uh, it could be, an example could be a lady is looking at this dress, and she, she add to cart, but then next thing she get an email to say, you know, hey, realize that you have add to cart, but you have not checked out. Here's an additional uh, print, uh, $10 off if you check out within a certain period. So this is how you can actually uh, use the power of remarketing for your business if you're doing e-commerce, right? Next, we look at photos, how to get photos for your business to appear in a Google search. So, digital marketing and SEO, if done right, your website is this big tree that will attract a lot of people, right? So, digital marketing is about also branding and brand recall. Uh, that's one thing that you need to know. Uh, for a new business, people are not used to seeing you, your brand, your products. So it takes an average of five to seven impressions for people to know you, that you exist, right? How do you expect to know? Uh, how do you expect people to know? Are uh, you firstly discoverable on the internet, right? So that is the question that we want to ask throughout this whole uh, uh, training. So, we look at the evolution of search and the rise of Google, right? As you know, this is a timeline of search engines, right? Um, Yahoo was born in 1994. And today, uh, Google is number one. Why is it so, right? So, we'll look at the, why is it so? So, in the search engine wars, Google versus Yahoo. So, Google uh, started with providing more relevant information to the search queries. This can be seen, for example, um, personally, when I search in Yahoo and I search in Google, I realized that Google has more relevant results. So over time, I will switch to Google, right? Uh, there's also uh, search engine relevancy. And also at that point in time, uh, Google uses Gmail as a bit. Whoever that has Gmail, they can invite their friends. And then when they invite their friends in Gmail, they, they start to, people start to play around with the search engine. And that's why, uh, you know, Google is able to dominate the market slowly. 
Google initially started with no ads, no ads. And when you search all the result listing uh, is listed there. And when you click, it clicks away from the site and into your website. During that time, the Yahoo era, everybody is directory driven. It is in Yahoo's best interest to make sure that you always remain in Yahoo so that they can sell you banner ads. Google took a leap of faith to be different in this way. And that's why they remain relevant. So always remember, in the search of Google and Yahoo, which um, imagine Google and Yahoo are still in a boxing ring today, uh, Google has always to prove that they provide more relevant search results. So the key is relevancy as we carry on and explore, right? So the question is, is Google page one easy to achieve? So at this point in time, I would like to uh, have a, a short dialogue with you guys because you know it becomes like a lecture. So who thinks that Google page one is easy to achieve? I want, I, I want to know your, like, your honest opinions. Anybody want to try? Eugene, can you repeat your question? Uh, is Google, uh, is achieving Google page one easy, easy to achieve? That means for a particular keyword, if people search your business, is it, is your business able to show on page one? Do you think it's an easy process? No, it's not an easy process. I've tried, I failed. Okay. Yeah, any tips for us? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody have a different opinion? Anybody want to give some feedback here so that it's, it's, it's not so boring because it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I have never tried, so I've got no idea. <laughs> okay. I, I'm one of those who, who, who's technology challenge. Okay, Ma, um, Marshall, what about you? Well, I think it's always a race to be on the first page. You really have yes. to race technically. It's not what you put. It's, also it's very technical. technical things. We In a way, you're right. In yeah. a way, you're right. Yeah. Uh, I saw we my friend. to pay Google, uh, so I believe, to be on the you know, first page. A lot of hard work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw my friend, uh, Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. What do you think? Hey, hello, Eugene. Hi. Hey, bro. I think, what do you uh, think? Is it easy? <laughs> If you pay, uh, if you pay, uh, if you pay, pay me, you uh. just write on top. <laughs> correct, correct. If you pay me, then you, pay you, you get. Or... <laughs> Either pay you or pay Google. Hey, nice to see you. Oh, no, the paying Google is, is ads. Uh. It's a different story. Uh. This SEO yeah, yeah, yeah. is organic, right? Okay, right, right, so right, yes. I will continue. Uh. Uh, sorry, yeah. I, I just had to break in between because if not, it becomes like very lecture style. <laughs> sure. You know, you guys really will, will fall asleep and, uh, after that. Okay, so I'll carry on, right? Uh, Okay, just want to check, right? Uh, is it full screen? Yes, it is. Yeah, full screen. Okay, so Google page one, is it easy to achieve? So this is a result, uh, Google search engine result page. Uh, I take this opportunity uh, to showcase uh, two. One is, uh, this is a search engine result page for my client. So the search term is Ice Capture Singapore. 11 million results and uh, as you can see here this is I, I screenshot uh, in one page there are 10 results I managed to achieve for the client uh, number two number two is uh, organic result for the website number three is what we call the image tag and notice number three the last two images you notice that there is a logo and there is a website URL so this is how I do it differently. This is how you can tag Google in a way that you not only upload images, but you upload image, make sure you have your logo and your website there so that if, if people chance upon your image in a Google search, people can say, oh, this guy, oh, this guy did this ice sculpture for, to put the wine, uh, very nice. Uh. Uh, then they go, oh, ice carving Singapore. Then they will go to the website and engage uh, the ice carving person, right? So that is result number three. Result number four is also an organic, um, organic uh, result from the, for the website. And you notice on the right side, 
ice covering Singapore. This is what we call the Google Map Pack, right? Uh, this listing is pulled from Google My Business, right? So I actually verified the Google My Business for my client and it appears here. And then uh, result number nine, Pinterest. Very interesting, huh? Result number nine is Pinterest. So I created a Pinterest uh, called Ice Capture Singapore for my client and just put all the, make sure I pin all the images. And it appear in uh, result number nine. So we get Ice Capture Singapore, 11.7 million results. A Google search engine results page has 10 results. We are a I'm able to achieve five listing on Google page one for 11.7 uh, million results. Number two, number three is an image map pack. Number four, number nine, and uh, map pack listing. At this point, I want to show you guys a live uh, search. Just a minute. Huh? Okay, one thing to note, uh, when you are searching for something and you want to know whether you're ranking or not, one thing to note is you must make sure that you are not logged in to Google. What I mean by this, if you are logged in to Google, you must log out. That means you must do like that, sign up. What I mean by that is that uh, Google has this thing called personalization of search. Personalization of search means that when you are searching, when you are searching in Google and you are locked in in Google, like as you can see here, I'm locked in, I'm, I'm not locked out. When I'm searching here, Google will give you your preferences. So for example, um, Jeremy, my friend, he, he likes all the tech stuff, he likes all the camera stuff and all that. So he will search camera equipment and all that. And then when he searched, the results came out. There are certain websites that he clicked that he used to buy his equipment from. The next time he searched camera equipment, if he's logged in, uh, Google will actually recommend those results that he had uh, bought items from over and above any other results. If you guys don't believe me, you try searching for a particular term, log in and log out. So for example, if, if you are somebody that likes to wear dresses, right? Uh, uh, there's a certain store that you do. And if you search ladies dresses or ladies gown and all that, if you search locked in, you will realize that the store that you buy from has a tendency to have a higher ranking over the rest. But if you lock out and you search, uh, it will give you a different result. So normally for SEO, when you're, when you're doing for client, you will normally lock out. But because later I want to show you an example of how we how we do a keyword research, I will remain locked in. So I'll give you a, a very quick example. Okay, so wedding eyes uh, sculpture Singapore. As you can see, this is all branded image search. That's what I mean. It's so obvious that this image is not from my client, but all these one, two, three, four images are from my client. And because the image, when you click on the image, let's say for example, I say, oh, this is very nice. I want, I want to do this for wedding eye sculpture. Guess what? The, the website is here. So when you see this thing as very nice, you will see the website here. What will you do? You will just Google the website and straight away confirm the job with the customer. So this is one way that a lot of businesses are not doing, right? This is called branded search in Google. This is a top secret. Huh? <laughs> and then you go down. Guess what? This is YouTube. And YouTube appears in the organic search. Wedding Ice Sculpture Singapore. 10 million results. YouTube appears because the video talks about wedding ice sculpture. 
there's a way in which you can uh you can do youtube i'll leave that for another time because i'll, I'll probably i'll probably do one video about youtube optimization for seo that's a topic in itself right um okay so coming back to my screen now you all can understand why i am i am chosen to give this talk <laughs> all right okay carry on So as what we say, I was able to unlock multiple uh, Google Page One uh, listing. Okay, SEO de deconstructed ingredients for ranking in Google. The top key things about SEO, my friends, is research and knowing the target market and the customer avatar. We will come to that later. Once you know that, a, a big time or portion of SEO is done in this area. Next, you need to know your competitor. Where do they have presence? If they are on Instagram but you are not on, then you need to be on Instagram, especially if they are your most closest competitor. Google must know where your business service area is and that is by having a listing in Google My Business. A lot of businesses do not have a listing in Google My Business. right? Um, Backlinks. Backlinks. Don't go crazy about getting other people to link to you. Don't use Fiverr to get backlinks to your website. It will have disastrous results. Right? Having a presence in YouTube and social media, sometimes your Facebook page will also appear in a Google uh, page one listing. Right? So the website key attributes are the load speed, the mobile optimization, SSL, make sure that you have the secure secure uh, sockets layer. If you don't know how to do that, contact your host. They will be able to help you. In the website, you, you look at basically in your planning, you look at the navigation, the on-page, off-page category and text. You look at website content optimization. You look at text, images, videos, external links, and website to be readable for human. Then search engine. Because no point doing all the optimization if human cannot read your website. Right? So it's SEO about keywords. Well, basically, this is something, a very simple map that I do for you guys. Of course, it's the thing is more complicated, but basically, firstly, you need to define the market. We're talking about the left, huh? things to do before SEO. Define the market. If you say that you are in weight loss, that's not good enough. Weight loss is targeting everybody. So then you identify your niche. Okay, I'm weight loss for women, but that is a niche only. You need... Let's say, yes, you are doing weight loss for women, but you need a particular uh, niche to start first and conquer, and then you slowly go to the different demographics of women to conquer each of them. So, for example, if let's say you want to start the sub-niche of weight loss of women who have just given birth, you tell yourself, I, I take six months to conquer this market, then I go for weight loss for women who are getting married and things like that. So that's how you do the, the, the main problem is people just say, I am weight loss for women. And then when you do SEO, your SEO becomes very broad. And nobody will search all those terms. Right? So the key is if you are weight loss for women, you, you target weight loss for women who have just given birth, for example. And then you look at weight loss for women who want to get married in the next six months. And vice versa. Right? That's how you work your way out. Secondly, it's very important to know your customer, your customer avatar. Can you map this particular customer to your niece in terms of age, in terms of demographics, in terms of friends, in terms of likes, dislikes, dining habits? If you can map to a particular person, then you can invite all her friends come in and you can you can tell, ask them, I'm selling this dress and this dress, which dress you prefer? Although it's a small sample market, but you will get more accurate results if you can identify to a specific person that you are targeting. It's very important. This is called persona or customer avatar. Next, you need to know your competitors. Where is their playground? Are they using social media? Are they using ads? Are they, are they on online, offline? Do you see them new, uh, newspaper ads? Do you see them in uh, you know, media corp advertising? Right now, less people do media corp advertising. 
let me tell you, if you ever consider media corp advertising, you are better off starting your YouTube channel. Trust me. All right. Because your YouTube channel is a 24 hour salesman for you. You've done right. It's done right. Okay. In one year, I was able to get 400 subscribers organically. Right. One easy way to know what your competitor is doing is just go and visit their website. Mm -hmm. After you visit your website, you go to Facebook. Do you see their ad on Facebook? That is an example of retargeting. People who have visited my website, I, I show them my ad with the offer. That is an example. Right? So for example, if you are selling dresses, you go to your competitor, you try to add to cart but you don't check out. See, you get an email or not. See what kind of offer they give you. 10% if you, if you check out now, within certain period. Then you know how your competitor uh, is doing, what kind of campaign they're doing. Next, we look at, as what well, we talk about leads. What are some things that you can give that is of zero or almost little cost to you that you can give in exchange for name and email address. And sometimes, these leads can be in the process of engaging them weekly for the next six weeks. It is possible. So it depends on how you're going to design your leads and engagement uh, uh, campaign, right? Next, we look at the SEO process, keywords. Now, the main problem uh, with keywords is that people say, oh, I'm a property agent. I want to be known for property agent Singapore, if people are searching for. Hello, people don't search property agent Singapore. People search for four-room apartment in Manhattan, for example. People don't search for apartment. People don't search for things like that. People search for four-room apartment in Manhattan. So it's normally, uh, this is what we call keywords with commercial intent. Always imagine yourself, if you are buying a property, how will you search? You, you won't search property agent Singapore, you won't search property agent India, Pakistan or whatever. You will search four-room apartment in a particular street in Pakistan or Bangladesh. Am I right? Right. So then next, how you structure your site? Imagine Google walking into a department store. If you walk into a department store, is your products organized? Do you have men's fashion stuff in the ladies' department? Do you have men's shoes in the ladies' shoes department? That's what I mean. There are a lot of people when in their planning of their website, they do not plan well. So when Google come into your website, imagine Google coming in into a department store, Google doesn't know what you are selling because your, your information is all over the place. And how can you structure this? Number one, using a right navigation planning. Number two, using category text and and uh, basically category and text and group all the related information together in categories page that's how you do it content you have follow on page seo images you must have your images on your website and also google photos as you can see the branded photos why it appear on uh, google search result is because i have the photos i have the photos uploaded into google photos Right, there's no secret. Um, YouTube is a be on YouTube. Make sure your videos are on YouTube. Quality, not uh, quantity when it comes to backlinks, and pepper it with common sense. Right, don't let an SEO company fool you. Right, ranking your company name is very easy. Imagine that uh, SEO company say, "Hey, bro, you know, I can, I can, I can rank your company name, but uh, you have to pay me two thousand dollars. It takes six months. You can save that two thousand dollars. I give you a two thousand dollars solution. You list in Google My Business. Google My Business will give you a postcard in two weeks time. And if people search your business name, it will appear even." if you do not have a website or you can actually create a facebook page with your business name if people search your business name the facebook page will appear also especially i'm i'm referring to especially this is a new business that the world doesn't know you only decided on the name yesterday this is how you can you can actually dominate for just company name but having said that people will not 
search for your company name because you are nobody people normally will search for the services that you offer you want to get into the mind of google so google is about topical when google enter your website does google know what are the topical ideas of your website for example and google is also about contextual if you're talking about apple are you talking about apple the food or apple the company and how does google know when google see how your data is related google will know whether you're talking about apple the company or apple the food and then nextly is relevancy relevancy is the big factor to prevent google uh, to prevent yahoo from overtaking google so google is banging on that relevancy no more is just writing about content about about you know topics and and making sure that you have all the keywords it doesn't work that way it has to be relational does your topics in your website make sense and all in all google see you over time as having an authority that means are you a mini wikipedia for what the area of business that you are trying to dominate in google so that's what i mean right uh google has an impressive market share except china and uh nobody was google is known as a verb can you google it right so research and customer identification so basically we talked about this the market weight loss and weight loss for women we have talked about this already sub niche by niching weight loss for women who have recently given birth you naturally have lesser competitor this is especially so if you you have you are a new upstart and you do not have a lot of money to play with google ads while you are trying to get your seo to work uh, this is a good strategy right so it can be seen like you you try uh, weight loss for women who have just recently given birth and then when you start to rank then you do a weight loss for women who are getting married that is what i mean so you try to dominate one area rather than being all over the place and by when you try to dominate one area you can actually organize all your articles together so when google walk in oh okay this is a very organized uh shopping center right so this is another example so we we talk about market niche and sub niche just now analyze your competitors outreach are they on the offline media are they on the online media right uh zalora uh, amazon and all that so there's one quick way you can check amazon best sellers and all that if your niche is applicable you can actually see what are the best sellers another tip is if you are in the health niche go and look at health magazine uh monthly find out what is the news on the front page of the magazine that will give you an example a, a real very good example of what the trend in the health industry is like right so very simple one tip when you are trying to sell to everyone you end up selling to no one so at the end of the day you must map this customer avatar to a particular person how should i structure my site so this comes to a very in interesting part on how you structure your site first we talk about domain name and hosting if your business is in singapore preferably your hosting is in singapore as well so we're talking about ssl secure sockets layer next we talk about the website website has to be mobile optimized number one uh it has uh it has to be very strong on page as you it means the things that you do the, the topics your website must talk very strongly all the topics must correlate there must be some relevant links to your website so that uh people are actually quoting you uh for certain articles and best way to achieve this is you share this on social media and people start sharing it on their profile right um external uh page how how well people uh how well your website is received in other thing do you have bloggers linking to your website so one quick way is that if you are e-commerce you have a particular uh uh offer you can work with bloggers and then bloggers can actually link to your website so in that way you 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 get additional link so most importantly is you must put pixels on your website this will help you to retarget on facebook google adwords uh it's a little bit deep uh but you can you can ask later on 
uh, most importantly, you need to have statistics to make sure to track, you know, your visitors, how they do. And also this thing called Google XML uh, generator, if you're using WordPress, uh, this plugin you install, the moment your website has an update, it will automatically tell Google to crawl the site. And normally plus minus three to five days, Google will crawl your new content normally, right? So this is an example of in the page itself, how do you optimize? You have the perfectly optimized page. This page is optimizing for chocolate donuts. As you can see, the, the header, it says chocolate donuts from Mary's Bakery. The image name has to, has to be chocolate donuts.jpg, for example, right? Then, uh, in the opening, uh, uh, paragraph, you have to mention chocolate donuts. And uh, somewhere in the middle, you have to uh, mention uh, chocolate donuts as well. And um, last paragraph, you need to mention uh, chocolate donuts as well, right? Um, so that's an example. Putting it all together. Is, uh, I'm hearing some background noise. Okay, sorry. Okay, so putting it all together, uh, you have the domain hosting, your website. Uh, your website must have the tracking and analytics code. Your website, uh, you have to decide whether your website is e-commerce. If it's not e-commerce, it's WordPress. If it's e-commerce, it's either Shopify or WooCommerce. Uh, you bothered about things about look and feel because this will affect the uh, usability. And then you look at uh, the, you actually uh, plan the structure of your website. And then you look at backlinks. Normally we will list in some of the prominent uh, directories as a start. And we will post content on social media and people will share it on their profile, right? So external backlinks as what we say, social media is known as social signals. Uh, so your website, every time it updates, it will, generate a new Google XML sitemap. What is what this does is your website say, hey Google, wait, my my site has got new content. So this is a secret informant that inform Google and the Google Spider will come and crawl your website. Right? Um, yeah, and uh, when you cross your website, it's not only crawl your website, you look at the external backlinks that you have and the external backlinks in social media as well. Now, Google Ads and Facebook Ads, LinkedIn Ads is a separate thing. This is called, this is a separate uh, traffic generation technique. It's called paid ads. So it's different. And then last of it, you need to have Google Analytics to put everything together. So what are the bold predictions of SEO? I'm almost, almost done. Uh, voice search. Today with Google Home uh, device is voice search. So this is a whole new ball game in which uh, over the next five years, this will happen. And as what we say, relevance, see and contextual. So Google no longer looks at your website has a few keywords mentioned here and there. Uh, your website is ranked for this thing. Google look at the correlation between your pages, your articles, your, your text, whether you have mentions outside in social media and things like that. So to determine whether how uh, contextual and relevant you really are. And the next thing is Google love Google concept. Remember, YouTube was a technology by itself until Google bought it. Uh, Google Photos uh, was also a technology by itself. It was formerly Picasa and all that. So until Google bought it. So the next thing, uh, you, you be always on the forefront. What are the new technologies that Google developed? and make sure that we are on it so that we can get that special preferred SEO juice because Google loves Google. Google loves YouTube because YouTube is a platform where it's Google, right? And the next thing we need to look at is fake news. So Google is putting a lot of emphasis on fake news and debunk of fake news. So the thing is that we need to make sure that our website has relevant content and then, you know, People doesn't doesn't flag our website you know, for some fake news or things like that over social media because all this matters. Next, we look at instant messaging. 
today WhatsApp, Telegram, all these uh, uh, Facebook Messenger. Today you can run ads to Facebook Messenger and straight away you can engage them. Uh, today I run an ad. I, I have Facebook Messenger on my phone. Straight away I, I, I see the message and I can straight away type it even you know I'm having lunch and all that. So that's the power, right? And uh, chatbots are very important how you can engage people. Go live technology is very important. Imagine that we had this meeting and, and we actually chose to go live. Although we have only like 15 people, but when we go live, we, we actually can reach two to 300 people. I've seen my uh, live, uh, uh, YouTube live over, over the time span actually, actually garner sometimes 100 over views and things like that. I'm still a small YouTube channel, but if I'm big, I can easily garner uh, 1,000 views. Big data is very important. Always know and always measure what you do so that your digital uh, strategy will be important. Right? As a parting note, this your business in Google My Business. Have a presence in YouTube and social media. Take note of your website load speed. Buy an SSL secure domain for your site. Pay attention to mobile optimization of your website, which is responsive design. Beautiful images with too little text doesn't help with SEO, my friends. So especially people in interior uh, design and all that, there's a way to it. You can create hidden pages that Google will crawl. This is advanced SEO, right? You can create uh, hidden pages that only the search engine will know and only people that are searching for this search term will see. The general customer see the very nice hazy image and all that with few page website. Have you ever wondered why a five page website can rank? This is the secret. They have possibly 100 hidden pages, right? Always write with the uh, readers in mind and then the search engine. Optimize the image file names with keywords. Remember, it's always keywords on JPEG before you upload to Google Photos or to your website. Have branded images as you can see, the high sculpture example. Next, you're all invited to this free event. Signs of Getting Rich by my mentor, Fabian Lim. Right, it's on 3rd October, 10 to 2 p.m. Uh, take a snapshot of this. The registration uh, link is signsofreach.com slash free. Right, it's free, really. All right. So take a snapshot of this. Uh, I'm, I'm almost done. I, I left another two slides only. So everybody has taken a snapshot of this. So please register uh, because this is free, you know. And uh, as part of the early bird registration, uh, Fabian has a three-part digital entrepreneurship video training free also if you register as an early bird. Okay, do take this opportunity. Even I register for this, okay, because he's my mentor. I actually learned SEO from Fabian many years ago, but I perfected the art as well. But we need to give credit when credit is due, and he's really my, my mentor. <laughs> Next, there's something upcoming. Uh, I have recently tried to do a one day skills future course, right? Uh, I just submitted a one day uh, uh, skills future course, uh, and it's Unfortunately, it will only be approved in about two months, as what I, I'm, I'm told. But basically, this skills future course, uh, the, the cost, the COST, is actually 500. But for Singaporeans, uh, you can actually uh, attend free because the government give you this uh, 500 to reskill yourself. So this is skills future in case for Mashuk. I'm sorry, Mashuk. <laughs> yeah, but if you're really interested, don't message me, Masho. Yeah, uh, so so this will happen. Uh, so how do you contact me? That's a very good question. So free for everybody. Everybody join my Telegram group, uh, telegram.imseoking.com and uh, subscribe on my YouTube as imseoking.com. Right, do take a snapshot of this. Right, and with that, Always be on the radar of Google. Thank you. Okay, you taken the snapshot, right? Okay. Thank you very much, Eugene. Everyone, can we give him a big round of applause for sharing his trade secrets, for so generously sharing what he used to 
engage its clients. And I, again, this is the beginning, not the end. We have so much to learn from you. And uh, we hope that uh, this one day course pulls through and uh, we will keep in touch and uh, we will learn from you and uh, engage each other. What's the best way to use the internet for further engagement? Now, those who I know uh, some of us have other cell group engagements, but those who can leave, maybe we can use another 10 minutes, uh, Eugene, if you're okay, to ask any questions. Any questions from anyone? Okay, maybe I start the ball going because because some some people are very shy, right? So I I'll, I'll start the ball going. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Regina, for so for Eugene is attending. saying that Google is is the best way going. It is not the best way. Uh, it depends on whether you have budget or not. Honestly, uh, okay. Let me provide a additional perspective to this. Why? why people want to use Google or why you use Google marketing more effective than Facebook marketing. It is because Google marketing is a search intent marketing. As an end consumer of Google ourselves, we will key in in the box what we want to find out. And for example, if I key in four room apartment in Manhattan, Chances are, I'm not just casually browsing. Chances are, I'm really looking for a four-room apartment in Manhattan. And if the property agent uh, do that, then good. So normally, Facebook is better. I'm, I, I'm not saying uh, Facebook is not good at cold targeting. You still can. Because you can actually target the demographics of people who like property, people who, who like property and, and just getting married or just married or things like that. Or people have been in a relationship for five years, you assume that then their next step is marriage, right? So people who like property and in a relationship for five years, chances are that these people are looking for property also. But because uh, Facebook is social in nature, people don't go there to find unless you appear that in your face kind of thing. Unless you assume that, you know, People who have been in a relationship for five years and look and interested in property, they are making the next step, right? Uh, what Facebook is good is this. For example, as a property agent, I put four room Manhattan uh, property, right? And you go to my website. So when you visit my website, I have a Facebook pixel there, right? And what happens is when you visit my website and your Facebook is still locked in, chances are, we, we, we have multiple tabs, right? Chances are we have one tab on Facebook that's always locked in. Or chances are in our mobile, our mobile Facebook is always locked in. But then we open a browser and we do this. So when we do this, uh, the, let's say I'm the property agent, I have a Facebook pixel there, right? I will straight away detect that, for example, Shona is locked in on Facebook. So the, guess what? Shona sometimes see, hey, hey, how come when I see this, this guy, like Eugene, the property agent, and then when she go to Facebook, she see Eugene, the property agent, like talking to her. So there is one way. Like you, you go to visit the website, right? Then you can say, no, hey, Shona, I know, I understand that. Well, sometimes you like, how, how does these people know? So imagine uh, when, she, when Shona goes to my website, right? when she goes to Facebook, right? and say, hey, Shona, understand that you're looking at four room apartment. These are the apartments that we have. Then Shona will be like, wow, how you know, you know? But actually, I got pixel there. You see, that's, that's not a secret, right? So, that's the way. Uh, normally, Google is more search intent driven, right? Uh, second question most people will ask is, how long does SEO take? This is a very co common question that I, I, I get asked. How long does SEO take? Well, SEO, uh, on average, if you do good foundation and all that, Within the first three weeks of doing the foundation and all that, generally, I will reach page five for that particular keyword. For example, I structure Singapore. Right? When I was doing the site, within, within three weeks, I was able to get page five. And within one week, 
I could climb to page four or page three, depending on my competitor. And within another week, I could reach page two or page one. So generally, if SEO done right, generally what we tell clients, if client engage me, generally we say about three months. Thanks, Betty. Thanks for watching. We, we, will, we will be in touch, definitely. Do join my Telegram group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that's, that's generally, uh, generally uh, you know, the whole SEO process, right? Correct? Yeah. So, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll stay on. I'm, I'm still quite good uh, to, to stay on if, if anybody has any questions, you know, just, just to get interest. Yes, Bumping. Yes. Eugene. Post i no no, no. I, I, first is I thank you I, I because I'm very new to this so I find it uh, very very like motivational it's a quite an education for me and I've I have always been curious all this search engine or social media marketing that, that I've never done uh, I want to ask you one important question yes. there was one gentleman who approached me maybe about one year ago. And he said, oh, if I pay him a fee, uh, one month, so much, so much, and then uh, he can help me with social media marketing and yep. my my company can be ranked on the like, you want to give him first, a top 10 or whatever of the Google search. So I, I said, okay, that's very good. I'm interested. Uh, why don't we sit down and talk? So we sat down, had coffee, but the deal didn't work. And I'll tell you why, and then I'm going to ask you how to make such a deal work. Sure. I said, okay, what you're asking me to do is pay you so much a month, right? And why am I paying you that? Because my company can be ranked on the social media, Google search. And why do I want it to be ranked up there? Because I can get more business, right? So I said, how about I agree on all those things except one part. Now you're asking me for so much money, which I'm willing to pay. In fact, I'm willing to pay you a lot more than what you're asking, but yeah. based on results, right? That means whatever new business I generated, I'll pay you a percentage of it. It'll be a very high percentage. And if it really works, if, even if my business increased by 10%, you will, get, you will earn a lot more than what you're asking me to pay you per month. But he, he declined this offer. So I want to understand why would a person decline an offer that can earn a lot more than charging me a fixed price? Sure. Very, very, uh, very simple. Most likely, that, that person is very new to the business. Why I say that? When I'm new to the business, I prefer to do jobs to get income. Secondly, the person doesn't think like a like a business person right so let me share with you a uh, uh, a personal story um, some of you may know or somebody some of you may not know I've actually uh, started a lorry rental business and also a house moving business okay having no knowledge whatsoever in the industry having no vehicle, no lorry, but yet I started this business. And I and, and in the first month, we were able to get uh, Carlton Hotel to be our client. That's purely by SEO. So how this works is, basically, uh, my partner has the lorry, my partner has the manpower and all that, he will settle everything. I will do the SEO. We, we go on a 60-40 suite. So he, he will take 60 because he has, you know, operating costs of diesel and all that. Uh, I'll take 40, but it's okay. I, I'm okay because once you set SEO, I, I, I just give you an example. Uh, one of my clients, I did SEO years back, three years, four years. Today you search uh, karaoke system rental, Singapore, you will see Impact KTV. Uh, that's my client. My client is actually renting all the KTV set. And... I, one of the SEO keywords that I do for my client is very simple. Karaoke system rental for Malay wedding. Why? Because every void deck wedding has karaoke system. And that has proven a lot of sales for them from the particular uh, 
Malay community. So that, that's okay. an example. Uh, uh, so so why uh, coming back to your thing? Uh, most likely this person is new in the business or whatever, or they have high overheads. They rather do jobs. Right. Yeah. Okay. I ask you the sixty forty. You you're talking about is it the net or the gross turnover? Um, net business or gross? That that would be gross. Gross, ah. Okay, that means for, you're assuming. For, for this case, Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so so for me, um, with that, I actually started a lorry rental and house moving business. Just like that. Just using SEO. Oh, I think we can start many more different businesses. How, how, what is your bandwidth like? Because there are many businesses, like my clients' businesses, if you can help them, we can discuss. Yeah, we can. We do you can. have the bandwidth? It does it take a lot of time to to do it. Uh, right now, right now, I am trying to establish. Does team. it take a lot of time to? Yeah, uh, yeah. Because right now, I'm I'm doing it myself, but I'm gonna look into trying to establish a team where I can outsource. But I, I yeah, check you, you should have a production team. Yeah. Yes. No, build your own production team. Yes. And then I think this this service can be a, a a growing business. So in fact, in fact, uh, we have we have Ada in the house. Ada is my partner actually in uh, doing all the social media, uh, content marketing for clients. Right? Uh, ah. she's she's listening ah. in on 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 yeah. on this webinar. Yeah. So we are we are slowly. Face, Ada, you want to show your face? Yeah, I just meet you on the street. Also, don't know who you are. You know. Ada, Ada, are you there? Do business, ah, you must have the, you the show your face? on the radar visibility. <laughs> yeah, I can uh, hear your voice, but I cannot see your face. I'm actually preparing to go for my prayer, so. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> next time, next time. <laughs> next, next time, time. Uh, Business cannot let that, uh. Business, you must have a uh, visibility. Next time, <laughs> next time. It's okay, it's okay. I, I... <laughs> Uh, Eugene, if you yes. give uh, Ida's uh, contact to me, yeah. we yeah. will uh, we will adjourn for now, and yes, because yes. some of us are going for prayers, right. for yes, 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 for dinner. Uh, again, thank you, Eugene. Very thank much you so obliged much. and yeah. appreciated. You have shared your trade secrets with us. Actually, I, I, I shared forward, a lot. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And those things good. can I post on my Facebook? The the snapshot that I've taken while you're speaking. Sure, of course. I, I I think many people like like me dinosaurs uh, I think many people can actually benefit from your your assistance. Uh. Uh, you should think of a production team. Then I'll be happy to to see how we can uh, get get your assistance, make it available to more people. Yes, yes. absolutely, absolutely. We we need to. Decipher the efficacy of Facebook, of Yahoo, of Google. What to invest in and how to move yeah. forward with a private investment and also for social enterprise. And I think um, again we need to shut off now. But yeah. Eugene, thank you very very much. Let this be the beginning and not the end. And and I really thank Liana for being with us today because yes. um, the the health for Singapore rests on her shoulders. She's with the Health Promotion Board. Oh. And Mahmood, thank you very much for being here. You have been a wonderful volunteer. And everyone else as well. Uh, Ray, Joanne, uh, and Carol, uh, especially David. Uh, there are so much that we can collaborate on. But uh, again, let's dialogue and see how we can move the best way forward. We're going to close off right now. Thank you, everyone. Thank Take you. Care. Next bye week, bye. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> Take bye care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Ban Ping. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Ban Ping, for having this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I must. Thank you. Okay. Eugene is so generous. Yeah, right? I must say yeah. that. Such a great spirit, to have. and yeah. Shauna, you too. Shauna has Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> Shauna has heard that. my other talk, right? Shauna, this is. This is a bit different, right, from the one that I gave in On my... networking. Sorry? No, I, I like your talk you better. The on network? No, the, the YEMG I did a similar, more or less, YEM. but that one is more on SEO.
why EMG and also others? Uh, Eugene, yeah. you, you have done so many, but it's, it's great because your work will benefit so many. Yeah. yeah. I like your talk better. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have to Thanks let everybody. Anne-Marie go. She, Thanks, she everyone. Cook Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye, Bye, everyone. Thanks. I see bye-bye. you guys. Bye-bye. 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 bye-bye.